New at 5 o'clock, he has been a beloved member of the WBTV <laughs> News family for 32 years. Steve Crump has covered so many stories, but this is by far his most personal. Well, as you know, Steve has been away these past few months fighting a serious illness, but today we're happy to announce he is back. The newsroom is thrilled. Uh, this is video of him returning to the newsroom this afternoon, and right now he is sharing with us his battle with colorectal cancer. Uh, Steve joins us here mm. in studio, and this has been um, quite a day. We hey are just friend. so, so happy to have you back. Awesome to see you. you yeah. You're just looking great, buddy. Um, this journey's been difficult. You've been to the hospital to visit me. Jamie's been out to her home. And, you know, you talk about the journey itself. It's almost like the theme from Love Story, Where Do I Begin? But you talk about in terms of the way things have kind of played out. Let's take you back through the last seven months. Just over 30 years ago, Charlotte signed its first sister cities agreement. Mountaintop highs have come from overseas assignments, access to well-respected global leaders, and collective teamwork with esteemed colleagues. And disappointing moments can also be delivered when you least expect it. What did you just call me? I called you sir. No, you did not call me sir. You called me the N-word, right? I did. I believe I did call you the N-word. But nothing can compare to the disappointing diagnosis that was delivered back on July 21st. That's when I learned colon cancer had attacked my body. When people talk about a reality check, it is a mortality check. Sharing my illness openly, honestly, and publicly was one thing, but living with and recovering from colon cancer has not been an easy task. Mr. Crump is, uh, is a great patient. Uh, he always uh, listened to our advice. Dr. Mohamed Salem from Atrium House Levine Cancer Center is my oncologist. If you are 45 years or older, please talk to your doctor and get screened. Bouncing back has involved needed assistance, love, and understanding from my beloved wife, Kathy. And heartfelt gratitude has come from hospital visits, needed prayers, and social media posts that have come from close friends, unknown viewers, and complete strangers. Cancer's had a huge impact on the African American community. Dr. Ricky Woods of First Baptist West understands how disadvantaged and minority communities are impacted by cancer. Obviously, faith communities have been impacted by that as well. So we've been trying to work on uh, health education, uh, helping people to make better lifestyle choices. Needed healing, according to Dr. Salem, can come from familiar surroundings. In the case for Mr. Crumb, I could tell that going back to work was very important for him. And he's exactly right. I've missed the viewers. Grateful for the prayers. I'm so grateful for you, my WBTV family. Mm -hmm. Well, we are so happy that you're here. And the fact that you are sharing your personal and very private journey publicly, we know Steve will help others out yeah. in the community. And that's yeah, important. You know, my message is get checked. Don't be afraid. Please don't be afraid. Ricky Woods talks about community access, and you got to make sure the resources are there. And I think that there's a move to make sure that good health care is available to people that can't afford it, which can mm. prolong lives. Yeah, Absolutely. and getting screened was uh, was something that you had not done, right? You've Absolutely. About that yeah, you know, and, and, and I've said, you, you talk about the crazy stories we've done from hurricanes to being all over the world, and you think, gosh, I'm invincible, but mm. you get a health diagnosis to use a line from a Stevie Wonder song, it knocks you off your feet. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're standing on your feet again. Mm. Um, Good and, and just so happy. You can't imagine. You, you saw the cheers, right? Yeah. Everybody in the newsroom when he got in. Uh, yeah. There's been this void. Steve's desk sits right across from me. It's <laughs> in my eyesight, and it's been well. empty for way too long. And I've missed Nobody's that voice loud. shouting across the yeah. room yeah. at me yeah. about various you know, things. You know, the thing about it, and, and I hadn't seen Eric in such a long time. <laughs> yeah. And well. he says, you didn't get the text from me that yeah. my wife had made you Louisiana-style gumbo. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and it, Steve never answered, and Vicky said, well, maybe you don't like my gumbo. You know? I love your gumbo, so, yeah, you kidding? Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, we always knew Steve had, was a strong-willed man, but we didn't know how strong until he, he came through all of this. And yep. uh, yeah. Steve, so great to have you back. Part-time. We'll take our time. Yeah. yeah. And as, as we get stronger, you'll see more of me. Can't wait to see and, yeah. and the thing is, is, Steve has been calling me every week, is I hear I hear you wear a 40 long. Can I borrow <laughs> no, your... No, uh, I don't. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, so, no. Anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> Two oh, thumbs Lord. up, Steve. It's so awesome to see Hey, I friend. need your all's anchor clothing allowance. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. and, well, as Steve said, screening is so, so very important. If you want to get screened but you do not have insurance, there is a program locally that might be able to help you. It's called Fit for Life. It provides assistance to those mm -hmm. looking to be checked out. Call 980-442-2509 and make sure to leave a message there. Get it done, folks. Call that phone number. Absolutely. Steve, well, great to see you. With your right. beautiful face and lots of sunshine, today yeah. was just the most Not perfect a bad day. day. Huh? <laughs> yeah. This could be at home, folks. Yeah. Really